Introducing the NMC Horizon Report 2015 Higher Education Edition. This report is a collaboration between the New Media Consortium and the ELI Educause Learning Initiative. In this report, the Horizon Project Expert Panel selected six key trends, significant challenges, and important developments in educational technology very likely to impact planning and decision making over the next five years. The key trends expected to accelerate technology adoption in higher education are placed on three timelines long term trends, mid term trends, and short term trends. Advancing cultures of change and innovation and increasing cross institution collaboration are expected to be around for five or more years. Advancing cultures of change and innovation reflects a broader trend in society in which businesses are adapting their strategies to remain relevant. There is a need for policies in higher ed that more aggressively support agility. Collective action among universities is growing in importance for the future of higher education. Combining resources in today's global environment allows universities to cross borders and work toward common goals concerning technology, research, and shared values. In the midterm trends, growing focus on measuring learning and proliferation of open educational resources. Measuring learning is all about using data to personalize the learning experience. Learning analytics is the key element of this trend, which aims to provide crucial insights into student progress and interaction with online texts, courseware, and learning environments. Open educational resources are teaching, learning, and research resources that reside in the public domain for free use and repurposing by others. It's gaining traction across campuses, but its broader acceptance into higher education hinges on the issue of awareness and accessibility. For the next one to two years, the panel expects increasing use of blended learning and redesigning learning spaces to be adopted in higher education. Blended learning has become popular as perceptions of online learning as a viable alternative to face-to-face -face learning have been shifting toward more favorable. To implement, blended learning will require concrete online learning guidelines and continuous visionary leadership. Many higher education professionals have started to rethink how learning spaces should be configured after a student-centered approach has become more popular. The traditional classroom mold is being broken to accommodate flexible and active learning. Next up are the significant challenges impeding technology adoption in higher education. These range from those challenges we understand and know how to solve to the wicked challenges that are complex to even address. The solvable challenges are blending informal and formal learning and improving digital literacy. Blending formal and informal learning is a challenge due to the lack of ways to acknowledge and qualify learning that happens beyond the classroom. National policies that guide the substantiation of informal learning across education systems will help formally evaluate those experiences. Digital literacy is a new category of competence, and the challenge is that a lack of consensus on what comprises digital literacy is impeding many colleges and universities from formulating adequate policies and programs that address this challenge. Difficult challenges are trickier because we understand them, but solutions are elusive. Personalizing learning and teaching complex thinking were chosen by the panel to be difficult challenges facing higher education. Personalized learning refers to the range of educational programs, learning experiences, instructional approaches, and academic support strategies intended to address the specific learning needs, interests, aspirations, or cultural backgrounds of individual students. The biggest barrier is that scientific data-driven approaches to effectively facilitate personalization have only recently begun to emerge. Higher order thinking is not only a valuable skill in today's world, but necessary for understanding and solving complex real-world problems. Encouraging and teaching complex thinking is challenging because educators have only just started articulating this multifaceted need in higher education. And for wicked challenges, competing models of education and rewarding teaching. New models of education are bringing unprecedented competition to the traditional models of higher education. Across the board, institutions are looking for ways to provide a high quality of service and more learning opportunities at lower costs. Teaching is often rated lower than research in academia. Funding and prestige are derived from an institution's scholarly imprint, which has created an inhospitable environment for those who like to teach. The three main points of this challenge are the need to prioritize teaching and learning over research, the importance of training faculty members to teach at a first-rate standard, and for policymakers and thought leaders to push institutions of higher education to reevaluate their missions so that teaching is a keystone. Finally, the report addresses important developments in educational technology on the one-year or less adoption horizon, BYOD, and flipped classrooms. Bring your own device was a phrase coined by Intel in 2009, referring to the practice of people bringing their own laptops, tablets, and smartphones to learning and work environments. BYOD is less about devices for higher education and more about the personalized content users have loaded onto them. In the flipped classroom model, valuable class time is devoted to higher cognitive, more active, project-based learning where students learn to work together to solve local or global challenges to gain deeper understanding.
In the flipped classroom model, students watch video lectures, take online quizzes, read passages, and more at home, which frees up class time for more immersive learning. In two to three years, expect to see makerspaces and wearable technology become more widely adopted in higher education. Makerspaces, also known as hackerspaces, hack labs, fab labs, are community-oriented workshops where tech enthusiasts share and explore electronic hardware, manufacturing tools, and programming tricks. As they become a more relevant part of cultural and economic discussions, universities are taking advantage of makerspaces to provide students and faculty a place to do their tinkering. Wearable technology is not a new category, but it's poised to see significant growth in coming years, spurring experiments in higher education. A recent poll showed 21% of U.S. adult students use wearables. And in the four to five year adoption horizon, adaptive learning technologies and the Internet of Things. Adaptive learning technologies refer to software and online platforms that adjust to individual students' needs as they learn. The emergence of adaptive learning technologies reflects a movement in academia towards customizing learning experiences for each individual. The Internet of Things is a network of connected objects that link the physical world with the world of information through the web. Enabling technologies such as smart sensors and chips are all well understood, easily mass-produced, and inexpensive, and a number of universities are already incorporating the IoT technologies on their campuses. Download your copy of the NMC Horizon Report 2015 Higher Education Edition now. 